Florida quarterback Emory Jones is coming off his first career start in which the Gators won 35-14 to against FAU. And his performance overall was probably not what he wanted it to be, if we're being honest, but I think there's a lot of room for growth still. And so we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about Emory Jones. We're going to talk about Anthony Richardson. We're going to dive into some of the film and look at what they did well and then some things to, to work on moving forward. And, and Emory Jones is someone we've talked about several times on this channel and same with Anthony Richardson. So uh, we're going to continue to do that throughout the season. So let's go ahead and just kind of recap uh, how he played and, and what he did well. And then let's talk about some things to, to, to work on, like we mentioned. So let's go ahead and look at the stats. Will Crick will pull up the box score. And Emory Jones... 17 out of 17 for 27 passing the ball, 113 yards through the air, yards per attempt for 4.2, uh, one touchdown, two interceptions. Anthony Richardson passing was three of eight passing, 40 yards, uh, yards per attempt were five, and he had he had one uh, his longest attempt was 36 yards. So he then he had two completions that equaled about four yards. However, Anthony Richardson shined as a runner, had seven carries for 160 yards. It's a 22.9 average. Uh, Per rush, he had one touchdown uh, on the ground. Emory Jones did well on the ground as well. 10 attempts for 74 yards. So not what the Florida quarterbacks probably wanted passing the ball, uh, but running the ball, they did very well over 200 yards combined rushing. And you saw a lot of good things, a lot of dynamic things from each guy. Uh, both Emory Jones, let's talk about Jones for a little bit because he started off pretty good, right? The first two drives, I think it was first two drives. Regardless, in the first quarter, they were at 14-0. He did some good things on some third downs, completing the ball, completing the ball downfield, and they were up 14-0. After that, things got kind of shaky, and, and, and we're going to look at some of the film. We're going to look at the interceptions that he threw, and I think it's just experience because he did some things well, but then he made some kind of first career start type uh, uh, mistakes that, you know, aren't uncommon. So we're going to see him just not reading a play properly and then him just being th being late on a throw uh, for the interception. So that's with Emory Jones, but I still I don't think it's time to, you know, freak out yet or it's time to, to uh, you know, panic because it's his first career start. I think he's going to get better. I think if you want to look from a positive standpoint, I think the fact that you struggled passing the ball and you still won by 21 points is a good sign. Yes, I know it's FAU uh, and this is his first career start. So I think I'm very open. I think he'll continue to get better. But I will admit there were some struggles in the game, and you want to see him push the ball downfield a lot more than what they did, uh, but still some good stuff. So uh, for the interceptions I want to look at, the first pick, which is an end zone, uh, that's just a bad read. He didn't see that corner sit in that zone. The, zone, the corner kind of baited him to throw that ball, which we're going to see in film. And the second pick, I think, was actually a good read. He just didn't put the ball where it was supposed to, and it was he let the ball float on him as opposed to putting it out in the grass to let the receiver get it. Because the receiver was open initially, uh, but the ball – floated in the air, and it wasn't where it was supposed to be, and it let this DB or the safety come and intercept the ball. And then Anthony Richardson, when he come in, he looked awesome. And here's a quote from Danny Mullen, actually. When I say he looked awesome, he looked awesome running the ball, right? The throwing was pretty much the same stories of uh, of Embry Jones. It's not what they want it to be. Uh, but then when Dan, Dan Mullen was asked about Anthony. He said Anthony came in and did some nice things, but, I mean, you've got to run the whole offense, you know? So that kind of goes back to what we just talked about. Hey, you have to be able to pass the ball as well as run the ball. Uh, Dan Mullen did say, uh, of course, that um, – Okay, he says, he says obviously Emory's our starter whenever he was asked about that. So I know there's some stuff, some quarterback controversy being made out there. Uh, I think, you know, I don't. I think it's too early. It's the first game, the first career start. I think we'll see Emory Jones get better. I still think we see Richardson play. I think they'll be in a good position moving forward. But with more starts, more experience, I think the quarterback position and both those guys passing the ball will improve. Let's go ahead and dive into the film. Let's look at the good things that Emory Jones did. Then let's look at some of the interceptions that Jones did. And then we will look at Richardson as well. So here's Jones on the opening drive here. It's actually a third and nine, and uh, good completion. Stands in the pocket, goes through his progressions. Good ball there by Emory Jones. So that's part of the good, right? That's, that, that was a good start, like a good, a good start. You had two guys coming wide open here, so you had a crossing route right here, then the receiver over here. Good job by Jones in the pocket, stay in the pocket, and delivering a good strike here. So this is part of the good with Jones, right? So, again, in the pocket. His open receiver down the middle of the field, or I guess to left hash. Uh, it was a third and nine here, but a good completion on a third down play. So, again, a good example of the good with Jones, and you had two guys coming open here. So this is part of the good start that Jones had in that first drive. So here's the second uh, drive, that uh, uh, scoring drive, excuse me, in the first quarter from Florida. Again, third and seven. This time you see Jones get the first down here with his leg, right? Nothing open downfield. He sees nothing he's comfortable with. Goes through progressions. And then he just takes off and picks up a good run here using his athleticism. So good. Third and seven. This is good from Jones. Picking up the first down here. Converting on third down. Getting into FAU territory. Again, this was the second drive they scored their touchdown on. So uh, things were looking good at this point for Jones and Florida. 
So here's an easy touchdown pass from Jones. This was the end of their, their second drive in the first quarter, uh, making it 14 nothing Again, everything looked to be going smooth here. A mismatch problem, only two guys over here. Uh, third guy coming over, and look, you got three guys blocking, and then you got your guy that Jones is about to swing it out to. So easy play there, but just the fact that, uh, that the threat of Jones as a runner and the creativity that he can bring offensively uh, helps create these type of plays here. It gets defense out of alignment there. So again, that was good for Jones and good offensively, and um, that was the second drive that led to a, a touchdown there for Florida. So here's one of Jones's interceptions, and um, we'll go ahead and watch it here. It's going to be kind of slow motion for us. Just an interception there. I believe it's third down two. So let's look at this pick. I, I kind of chalk this up to this experience, how we talked about uh, earlier in the video. So it's a pretty good pocket here, right? And, and no one really comes open. You have a check down here. You maybe can say, hey, this guy's coming to the middle of the field. I can buy that. Uh, but um, excuse me, Jones is here on this, this uh, corner slash out route trying to flat him down. He thinks the corner is kind of here on, the, on this guy, but the corner is playing in between. He's in the zone, and Jones just does not see the corner. Corner comes and interceptions right there. So I think that's, I, I kind of chalk that up into just an experience type there, right? Forcing it, knowing that, hey, you got points. You got three uh, three points here. Let's go ahead and take it. So again, uh, one of the interceptions, uh, something that Jones will clean up and watch in film. And again, I kind of I think with more experience, and he'll be able to, to, to see more looks like that. So here's another interception from Jones, and I, th I think I kind of chalk this up to experience too because I believe the receiver comes open over here. He's just laying on the throw and kind of just, just kind of lofts the ball as opposed to putting some juice on it. Uh, so it's not necessarily a bad read. I think he's just late on it. So let's go ahead and watch. We'll see kind of the, the running back, the quarterback play action, if you will, that Florida's famous for Tim Tebow. This kind of floats it and the interception there. So I think he floats it and he's late on it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this point of view too. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get, where's this point of view? Yeah, we can see here. So, boom, able to progress, comes across, floats it, just late on. Like you can tell that he's late because the receiver has to stop here. It's not a bad read if he puts the ball out here and puts some juice on it. That safety or DB is not going to be able to get there in time. Now, again, we don't have the, the coach's film right here. Um, but from what it looks like, I think he's just late on it. So not necessarily the bad read, just late on it, put some juice on the ball again. I think with more experience, he'll be able to complete that pass uh, that calls for, to be, for the ball to be over here. So here's one of Richardson's big runs here. It's the, the, the beginning of the second quarter, so it's 14 0 right now, and right now Florida is just cruising. You, you, you're thinking they're going to drive down and score uh, 21 here, which they did not, but big time run here, and you see athleticism. We're, we're going to see a few more runs from Richardson in this video, but here's one of the, the, the first ones. Blitzer comes in, able to sidestep him easily, get up field. Watch him put his head down. That's a big guy coming fast at you. So again, Richardson, uh, one of his big runs on the night here. So Richardson here again at quarterback, and nothing really to break down here. The game is almost over at this point. It's in the fourth quarter. It's just a hell of a display of athleticism that is worth watching. Let's just go ahead and check it out. So here's Richardson on a fourth and four here. It's a deep ball. It's a good completion from him. I think with more experience, uh, uh, eventually, when, regardless when that is, um, I think he'll be able to hit his guy in stride. That will be a touchdown here. But I think it's a good example of how Richardson's running game and, and Richardson's ability to pick up yards in the run can open up plays downfield here. A wide open play if he just hits him up here to touchdown. But this type of throw, you'd rather kind of put it behind him and just, just to have him catch the ball than overthrow the receiver here. But again, it's a good example of the threat of him running the ball will open up plays, plays and will open up, open up receivers downfield. So again, we saw Jones start off fast, start off good, then slow down, didn't make the adjustments, and we, we saw the interceptions, but still did some things that were good and did enough things to work on, but you do want to see some improvement from the next game. Richardson was dynamic, run the ball, very exciting. I can see why Florida fans are so excited for him, but similar to Jones pass the ball, you want to see uh, some more consistency and some more completions there. So um, I think we'll see that moving forward. you got a good quarterback coach who's going to put them in the right position to succeed. But I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts uh, about the whole quarterback situation? What are your thoughts about Jones, Richardson? Let me know. Any thoughts that come to mind about the whole quarterback situation at Florida, let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time in the next quarterback later video. I totally forgot. Please subscribe if you like quarterback-related content. We put out quarterback stuff throughout the week, and we'll see you next time.